Hey y'all, I'm Grandma and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make some really easy, delicious, homemade butter. We're going to start with two cups and this is cream, okay? You can use heavy cream, but this, this is cream from the Amish store and we're going to do start with just two cups. Now, if you've got a hand, one of those fancy mixers, you can use that. This can also be done in a blender, um, but using it in a blender, you got to be really careful. I'm going to use a hand mixer. Uh, you can actually use just a whip. It just takes a long time. And uh, when I was a kid, my dad used to use a fruit jar. And he would shake it, and then he'd pass it on to the next kid. There's seven of us. So, uh, eventually, we got butter just from shaking just an old fruit jar. This is going to get loud, so I will see if I can, you know, get that edited out. Now, in less than five minutes, you'll see that it's already starting to turn yellow and getting nice and thick.
Now once it gets to this stage, you see all the milk that's separated. You can feel it, see? Now what we're going to do is we're going to get some ice water and um, well, we're going to drain that off and then we're going to put it in some ice water. All right. We just want to get as much of that milk out as we can. Now for some a nice water bath. Okay, here's our ice water, and then we're going to take the butter, put it down in there. You want to just take and kind of squeeze it out a little bit, because what we're trying to do is get all that milk out of here. And the ice water helps get it nice and firm. Ooh, that ice water's cold. There. See how firm it's gotten and clean. So we're going to go and set that over there. We're going to be emptying out this and I'll show you what else to do. Now put this over back in the strainer right here and let it sit. Then I got out parchment paper. We're going to take parchment paper and we're going to put the butter on it. Whew. Just trying to mold it a little bit. Mine's not going to be perfect. If you got butter molds, that would be great. I have never invested in one. But I think it would be fun. I've seen so many of the cutest little ones. Butter just doesn't last long around here. Okay. That. That's my stick of butter. Now I'm going to put that in the refrigerator for one hour before we cut it. Now while we're waiting on the butter to uh, sit in the refrigerator, I'm going to show you how to take the milk that we pulled off of that and make buttermilk. This is only one uh, three-fourths cups of milk. Sometimes you can get a full cup, but because it's only three-fourths, we're going to use three-fourths of a teaspoon of lemon juice. You can also use uh, white vinegar. I prefer the lemon juice. But if you get a full cup, then use a full teaspoon of your lemon juice. And make it sure that it's real and not concentrated. You take and you stir it up. Then you will set this to the side and you can actually use it within, oh, don't make the mess. You can actually use this within 10 minutes, just like you would buttermilk. And the more butter you make, the more milk you make, and the more buttermilk you can make. And then you can make some delicious buttermilk biscuits. It's been in the refrigerator for right at an hour. So I'm going to unroll it. As you see, it's not perfect. But it's good enough for me. Now, check it out. It's very easy and very simple. Go 
forgot to show you, I love toast and butter. Check this out. I've had it in the refrigerator so it's nice and cold. You can set it out for a few minutes, make it even uh, more easy to spread, but uh, this is real butter. Now, doesn't that look delicious? Well, there you have it. Really easy, delicious. This is no salt butter. If you want to put salt in it, when it starts getting the milk in it, okay, at, right after that, you want to drain the milk so you don't ruin your buttermilk. Then you start with a maybe a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon, depending on how much you like, and taste it. Salt is to taste only. Don't take other people's word for it because if you go by their recipe and you put too much in it, you've ruined your butter, okay? It's really important that you make this to your specification. Now, you see how I showed you that I made it to an Amish store and I got one quart. Well, that one quart made this, okay? I can use the other quart if I wanted to and I could do that with salt or I can just have double. You don't have to do that if you don't have an Amish store. I got this at Walmart. It's a great value, heavy whipping cream. This right here will make that, okay? Perfect. Not too awfully expensive, but I'm going to tell you it tastes a heck of a lot better than the store-bought that you get, and you know what's in it. So, I hope you try this recipe, and please make comments when you do. And so, until next time... From my kitchen to yours, love and light.